should not be part of your life. Revenge should disappear, dissipate, evaporate in the atmosphere of forgiveness. Hmm. Hate should be swallowed up with love. That's the, that's the challenge. That is what God meant when he said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living, not a dead, a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm. Now see, if you're conformed to this world, you're going to cuss the suck out. If you conform to this world, you're going to get your foot and you're going to shove it. Mm -hmm. If you conform to this world, you're going to tell them, bend over, crack a smile. I got something for you. If you're conformed to this world, you're going to go tit for tat. You're going to do a little underhanded, little zingies. You're going to get them back. Oh, you, you pay back as a dog, baby. Screw with me. I'll screw, I'll screw over you. Yeah. See, that's the way the world does things. <clears throat> <laughs> but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you transform? By the renewing of your mind. Input, output. You get this word in you that says love your enemy. Feed him if he's hungry. Give him drink if he's thirsty. That's your enemy. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, the only way you have the power to even know to do it, you got to read the word and get that in you to get your mind shifted. See, what God's doing with his word is he's screwing your head on right. Your head is screwed on backwards when you're in your flesh. But when God screws your head on right, and you start become, you start lining up with his word and his way. Then you start presenting your body as a sacrifice. You know why you're presenting your body as a living sacrifice? Listen. Number one, you ain't going to want to do it God's way. Sometimes I don't care how saved you are and how much you love God, how much you know him. There are going to come times you don't want to do it God's way. And some of y'all are honest. You tell them, Lord, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I don't want to forgive them. Mm -mm. Nope. Dance on the grave if you let me. But no, I don't want to forgive them. That's a good place to be. Because now you're being honest with God. You're being real. Don't play with him. He already knows you don't want to forgive him. That's why he's got it in his word. That's why you need to have your mind renewed. Because without the word of God and the power of the Holy Ghost working in you in sync with the word, you will never be able to obey God's word. That's why he has to put a new nature in you. So you constantly ask for that new nature to ignite within you, to keep your flesh at bay because your flesh will get you in some serious mess. Trust me on that. That's why people end up incarcerated. Think about it. Some people end up dead because they won't back down off of something that doesn't count.